is an NBC News special report. Here's Savannah Guthrie. And good morning, everybody. We're coming on the air with breaking news. This is the New York Stock Exchange. The trading day is just beginning on Wall Street, and there are fears that the Dow will drop and drop quickly, and we're already seeing that futures over the weekend were down so much that they actually had to put a, an emergency trigger that stopped trading. And the expectation and fear is that we will see markets in free fall this morning here in the U.S. as they have done in the global markets already today. Let's get right to CNBC's Becky Quick, who is at the Stock Exchange for us. Becky, this is expected, but here we go. Uh, yeah. The numbers are already in free fall. That's right. Uh, Savannah, this morning we had been looking at the futures down by 5%. As you mentioned, that's limit down. That as far as they will allow the futures to trade down before the opening bell. But in the very first moments of trading here, you're seeing uh, the stock market move well below that. Right now, it looks like the Dow is down by about 6.9%. This is some massive pressure. If you haven't looked at your 401k over the last couple of weeks, I wouldn't recommend doing it today because uh, just over the last two weeks, we had already seen the markets down by about 12%, a little more than that. Now you're adding declines of more than 7% today. Now, the 7% that we're sitting at right now, that would kick in additional circuit breakers if we get to these levels. The uh, new circuit breakers are there to try and prevent panic selling, which is what you might be looking at right now. The circuit breakers they, kicks it, kick in when, Becky? At what for, percentage? For the S&P, for the S&P 500, the circuit breaker would kick in down 7%. If we are looking at down 7% for the S&P 500, you will see a pause in trading for 15 minutes. Then if you see the S&P trading down 13% from those original levels where it closed on Friday, it would pause again for another 15 minutes. And then if you see a 20% decline at any point uh, before 3.25 p.m., because the markets close at 4 p.m., if you see a decline of 20%, the market would actually halt trading for the day. Now, it's worth pointing out that we have not seen these uh, circuit breakers triggered since they went into effect in 2013, at least not at these levels. We'll be watching this very closely because you're sitting near those levels right now. I'm looking at the S&P right now down by, by 6.95%. So we are near those levels where you would see some circuit breakers kick in. The big reason for this, obviously, people concerned about coronavirus and what that is going to mean for the broader economy. If you look at uh, within the stock market, the sectors that are really getting hit the hardest, you have to look at the travel industry. Cruise lines in particular, I saw some of them trading down 10 to 12 percent this morning. Airlines, I've been watching them trading down 4 to 7 percent. And then if you're looking at hotels, a lot of pressure on those things, too. The other big issue, Savannah, is that we really saw a big um, issue with the oil markets over the weekend, too. If you're looking at crude oil this morning, it's been down more than 20 percent crude oil alone, and that's having a huge impact on all of the oil companies out there, uh, big oil companies, including Exxon, Mobil and Chevron as well. This is happening not only because of concerns about an economic slowdown, but also because the Saudis and the Russians really got into a big fight over the weekend. And uh, they're, the Saudis are really trying to do an oil price war here. And that's why you're seeing all of these issues kind of come to a head this yeah, morning. And the timing couldn't be worse to be having that kind of turf war uh, at the very moment that the global economy is really struggling under the weight of the coronavirus. We're, stick there, Becky, if you would. We're going to keep an eye on the Dow Jones is what we're showing right there. So when we're talking about those other tr circuit breakers, that was in regard to the S&P index. The one we're showing you is the Dow. But in any event, you get a sense of it. And here are all the, the U.S. markets as they open this morning. I want to go to Jeff Bennett, who's at the White House. Obviously, the White House is watching not only the public health crisis unfolding, Jeff, but also this this economic crisis we're seeing. You're right about that, Savannah. Good morning. Administration officials say they are monitoring the stock market open. There was an expectation that there would be something of a negative reaction uh, to the coronavirus crisis. But in many ways, they are watching this slide in real time as we are. President Trump still in Florida. He spent the weekend there. He has a series of fundraisers today. We don't expect to hear from him in public, uh, apart from his tweets, until later today. But as you well know, President Trump has spent the better part of the the last three years really personalizing the stock market, the overall economy, making the case that one of the reasons for the stock market success until this point was because of his stewardship as president. But there is a reason why U.S. presidents don't really boast about the stock market, because if you own the highs, politically, you also own the lows. So we will see how any of this, setting aside the real public health crisis, we will see how this situation imperils the pitch that President Trump is made in, making to voters in this re-election year for him. Savannah. Mm. Jeff Bennett at the White House. Becky Quick, my colleague at the stock market this morning. Of course, we'll continue to keep our eye on what's happening. You can find out more at NBCNews.com as well as MS NBC and of course CNBC with its eyes on the markets will return most of you to the Today Show. I'm Savannah Guthrie in New York. This is 
Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.